Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon here in the Philippines and I am doing a bonus video for this weekend because I did get my order in from Decker Toys. My buddy Eric T came through with some great items. Uh, the item that I'm reviewing today is a little unusual for me because it's a little bit bigger and you guys have heard me before complain about the limited space I have. But this is like one of those really unique items that I had to get because I grew up watching this cartoon, Scooby-Doo. And this is like a really cool rendition of the Mr. Machine and it came with the two little figures of Shaggy and Scooby. So uh, I'm going to unbox this today on this video and give you guys a closer look at it. And plus this bonus video puts me right on schedule to do my uh, milestone video on Wednesday. Wednesday will be my 100th episode of Diecast videos. So we'll still do this one today and we'll do our premium unboxing on Monday, which will be some mini GT Italian supercars. Uh, then on Wednesday, which is usually our Chase unboxing, will still be related to Chase stuff, but it will be an iconic video because it's a milestone time for me, my 100th episode. So make sure you tune in for that next week. But uh, for today, we're going to take a look at Jada's 124th Mystery Machine with Scooby and Shaggy figures. So... Um, another thing, give a shout out to Eric at Decker Toys. If you guys are ever in Manila, make sure you guys check him out. Or if you live in the Philippines, make sure you check him out on Facebook. Um, or he has a place in Green Hills too. So uh, be sure to get a hold of him to help you require or acquire your hobby needs. He deals a lot in multiple different brands. So uh, make sure you check him out. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get this guy out of the box. Uh, this one, I kind of just pre-cut the tape, but I have not taken him out of the box actually yet. So, I'm prepared though. I brought my scissors and my Phillips screwdriver along because usually it's going to be screws, tape, or like wire uh, like ties, but not like your zip ties, but like wired, like garbage bag ties, something like that. It's usually what holds these guys down. Give me one second to take him off camera and get him out of the box. Alright. So there's the insert. And then there it is on the back of the box. You guys can see Mystery Machine, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. That's actually really cool. Uh, something that I never thought I would see, like with the little figures and everything, which is really cool. And this is a totally different casting, not shared with anything else Jada has done. So very cool uh, die cast. And they've been doing a lot of cool stuff in this Hollywood rides with figures and everything like that. So uh, there's a few other ones that I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. But this was a must-have. Even though I'm limited on space, had to get this set. So let's get the actual item out and look at it. So let's see what we're facing here to get him off of this insert. So yeah, Phillips screws. Uh, not the regular like wires that they sometimes use to tie it down so anyways um let's go ahead and cut some tape to get this flap off and then unscrew some stuff so uh, give me one second here guys so that gets that out of our way and let's go ahead and get the mystery machine off first. Give me one second to take this off camera and get him off this. Get the van off first, then we'll worry about the little figures. So since this is new, like idea to unbox a 124 car didn't really prepare too well like I usually do with the 124 stuff but seems to be coming out of the box pretty easy so far so far so good so there he is unscrewed from the 
insert it. I shouldn't throw that over there because we need that for the figures. So we put that there for now. And then once again, we'll need the scissors to cut this tape holding the doors closed. So there you are. It's got opening doors, which is pretty cool. I didn't think it would actually have opening doors. I figured it would just be one solid casting without anything opening at all so pretty cool that they did that um let's check out the back and see if yeah no opening doors but it's got door handles and separate tail lights and that's pretty cool too i thought they would have like a decal there instead of like actual tail lights the door handles are there too separate pieces so really cool it's got the rear side mirrors and door handles. The orange and yellow wheels, which are pretty cool. Rubber tires. Like a short wheel base van. So very cool. And separate headlights, turn signals. And tire and actually the chrome trim there is actually separate pieces to inserts so did a nice job with the detail work like the separate pieces and such it's not just decals which I figured it would be a lot of like decals and not separate features or separate pieces so that is pretty cool um, so let's go ahead and get Shaggy and Scooby off of this base here and let's see if I can yeah I'll get Shaggy off first it looks like he'll be the easiest he's got two screws holding him on and then we'll try to get Scooby off I'm not sure what I'm facing with Scooby I don't see any screws on the bottom here but uh, Shaggy does have two screws and what's really cool is Shaggy, anyways, is die cast. I'm not sure about Scooby. I think he is actually um, plastic, but the Shaggy figure is actually metal, which is pretty cool and pretty rare. I didn't think they would actually make this out of metal. And still working on these screws to get him off of the base here. It's taking longer to get the little guy off than it did to take the van off. Really surprised. I thought the guy would be a little easier to get off. Um, but I actually didn't expect him to be held down with screws either. I just figured it would be tape or wire or something. But yeah, he is actually die cast metal. So that is actually pretty cool. So there's the shaggy. So. Yeah, he's all metal. Nicely detailed little guy. Looks like the cartoon guy. And it looks like probably he should be holding a doobie or something there. <laughs> it's always like the uh, old like poem or phrase or uh, whatever you want to call it that they had is Shaggy passed a baggie so Scooby can roll the doobie because they were always considered to be hippies because they were always eating like they had munchies from smoking too much pot. So, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like he would be holding something like that in his hands. And uh, there you can see the little tapped holes there where they had him screwed down to the base. And it's got all the separate copyright dates and everything on that too. Um... Almost looks like his arms should move, but they don't. The arms are plastic, it feels like. But the body of the guy is definitely die-cast. But the 
separate pieces of like his head and of the arms are plastic. So almost 100% die cast. Not quite, not like the American Diorama 164th figures, but still um, pretty cool that they actually even made the body of the die cast. And it looks just like Scooby is kind of held down by tape. So I'm just gonna cut the tape to get him off of there. Now I can throw this insert off to the side. So yeah, as you can see, there's those wires I was telling you about that usually holds the car down, but now they got that holding Scooby to this plastic thing. And let me see if I can just cut that without like, damaging him. Yes, so that worked better just to cut the thing instead of trying to untwist it. So there's your Scooby-Doo. Pretty cool. Looks just like Scooby would have in the cartoon, or Scooby did in the cartoon, I should say. And this one, as I said, is like a rubber, like plastic, so he's a little flexible, but not too much. But yeah, it's like that rubberized plastic, so you don't have to worry about it breaking too easily. So really cool. So there they are, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy with the Mystery Machine. So, as I said, this is really kind of out of my realm, but had to have it. Uh, I will pick up the occasional 143rd and 124th if it's something that is like, uh, that I must have that's just kind of unavoidable or I can't pass it up. This is one of those things. Uh, have a couple of Jada 124th uh, Fast and Furious cars that I felt that way about too that I will show you guys those in a couple of weeks or so. Um, and you guys have seen my Franklin Mint uh, Charger 500 briefly in a video. That one I'll do a more detailed video about later on. And uh, still have to show you the rest of my 143rd cars. I showed you my matchboxes in the matchbox challenge. But uh, eventually we'll take a look at all the, all the rest of the 143rds, which isn't many. Um, so, guys, uh, this is it for the bonus video. I hope you liked this. I mean, I thought it was pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out this year of Scooby-Doo. There's uh, even the ID cars that Hot Wheels has. Uh, they made a mystery machine, and they've actually been making a lot of movie cars. And Hot Wheels also released a very cool um, uh, monster truck set with the mystery machine but the mystery machine, I think, is based on a Dodge van or something with the long nose, not the flat front end like this one. And then it has a, um, a Scooby-Doo uh, monster truck. So it's very cool. Uh, Diecast Dude did a review on that set about a month or so ago. But uh, anyways, that's something that I would probably pick up too. And I'm not much of a monster truck guy, uh, except sometimes I'll pick up the green light stuff, but uh, not very often. So this Scooby-Doo stuff, though, I really like. So that's why I had to have this one. Uh, so if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please remember to do so. We're closing in on a thousand subscribers now. Uh, and then, uh, as I said, we're closing in on our 100th episode. We'll be doing that next Wednesday. So this is our 98th. Then Monday will be number 99. And then Wednesday will be 100. And as I said, it will be based on Chase Cars, but it will be a little bit different than usual. So uh, make sure you tune in for that. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. Uh, so, guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Remember to give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you have not done so. And also remember to check out Eric's store if you live in the Philippines or if you visit the Philippines. You won't be disappointed. He has a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so, thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will talk to you on Monday.